morning everyone. I'm just gonna go and get ready and go for a walk because one, I'm feeling okay. And two, look at this, I might be gone before you go down there. There's an awesome sunrise out there. We're probably gonna miss it and you can see it goes right round, but my exercise clothes are already down here, so I'm gonna quickly go and get changed and, and get out the door. Pretty nice, this is the first day in like a week and a half I feel well enough to actually go for a walk. here at the perfect time for the sunrise, just perfect, um, so that worked out well. So a bit puffed, but I can go for a walk, so that's fair enough. But now I'm feeling actually the best I've felt on a walk for such a long time. In the last few walks I've done, like 15 minute walks and I've been feeling yuck, so we'll see how it gets by the time I get home, that'll be the true test, but so far, so good. So, back from the walk, probably already having a drink. It is rather warm. I'm probably a bit sweaty looking to be on camera, but anyway, it's humid still, so. It is the middle of February. It's actually Valentine's Day today. Now, if you've been with me for a few years, or read my blog for many years before that, you'll know we usually do something for Valentine's Day, either like an afternoon tea for the girls, or a special dinner for the family. But, I think it's going out for all the afternoon. <laughs> and with me not knowing how I was gonna to feel today, I didn't really plan anything, so it might be a bit of a, a non-eventful Valentine's Day today. Just having the grass door. Do you want to go out? You've just been outside for a walk. It's probably cooler out there than it is in here because I come in and you stop and it's hot. Um, so I don't know my water cup's gone. Where's my water? I had it here last night. I've been drinking loads of water. Um, Still eating really well. Not seeing anything reflected on the scales. <laughs> and kind of after the first few days, usually that's when you see a bit of a movement, but. Anyway, until I keep doing what I'm doing, the doctor actually wanted me to start taking metformin for the insulin resistance. Uh, sort of, uh, I've done it before and didn't notice anything. Else. I'll do it again. I have a super good diet for two weeks, unless I can report in. That, and I'll give it a, I think two weeks will be good enough if I don't see any results on the metformin and then obviously it ain't worth taking. <laughs> so, but we'll see. Um, but I feel good today, so I'm so excited about that. Um, if only all my good days could be on days when I could actually take advantage, but don't worry, I'm not gonna overdo things, but um, usually my good days, I think the last few good days I've had have been out or have had half the day taken up with something else. I haven't really been able to utilize the time at home today. We might go out for lunch. If I'm feeling good today, I think that's what we'll do. Um, and that'll kind of be a Valentine's Day thing. And then I think it's going to a party at two o'clock. So that can kind of work out. We can go out for a family lunch and take her to a party. Maybe time by the pool this afternoon. I don't know the last time I went in that pool because on my good days, it's been overcast or rainy or been out. So I've been able to go out there. Um, so, and um, no one's coming over to tonight as one of the girlfriends, Jamila's coming over tonight, so that's okay. Um, so I might actually do a few things. I think Kevin's going for a bike ride. Well, he said he was, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to drink a water, it's so warm. I might even try and do my weights a little bit later, but I'm going to recover from that, make sure I'm feeling all right. And then if I feel okay, I think I might go and do some weights, but don't want to overdo things. First up, 
and I'll see if I can make a little bit of progress on things that I want to do. I've got, um, I've just got a few things on my on my thing. I'll be keeping my list there now, so I can see. Because I always forget. So I thought I'd just start writing things on there, and I can cross them off so I do them. That was yesterday's list. Nothing got done because yesterday wasn't a good day. Um, mainly for fatigue. It's my, my main thing. Theme, main thing seems to have been and normal aches and pains but a lot of fatigue the last week so that's what I hope to get accomplished today <laughs> I definitely need to do that watermelon because I don't want to get wasted but it took a long time and I find standing in the kitchen my back has been really sore so hopefully today will be okay because even last night I did the washing up I did all that because besides because I was feeling okay so I'm gonna do that tonight not know how I was gonna feel in the morning I was in agony. My back was just killing me. I'd already picked up the dog poos before that, so it's probably just a bit, a bit too much stuff with a sore back. So hopefully, but I found the other night making dinner. I like, yeah, last night making dinner. My back was sore just standing here making dinner. So don't know what's going on with that. It's a bit of a new thing. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna sit down and cool down because I'm just like driven up a storm here. I'm off to have a shower now. I've been waiting to finish up my cup of tea, but I just got attacked by a cockroach. Landed on my shoulder, but. <laughs> to jump up, Kevin laughed at me, so I jumped up off the couch real quick. <laughs> Just to make sure it didn't go down my shirt. I think it's bounced off my yeah, shirt. And... Okay, it's pretty gone. Long some, gone with somewhere by now. Well, you can go and check it for me. I'm busy. I'm busy. He's, yeah, look, look how busy he is. He's super duper busy. Yeah. So <laughs> I've got real work on my screen. Are you in a dungeon yet? Are you going to pretend you're working now? Yeah, see, this is real <laughs> We know better. Yeah, so I'm going to shower now. Still feeling good, so... Must be going to be a good day today, so we've got attacked by a cockroach. There's actually been a lot of cockroaches in the house lately. I don't know if it's the weather, being so humid. Because, like, we do get a house sprayed. Um, and they're dying. So they're coming out and they're dying so the spray is still working but i've actually rebooked to get a spray again just because the ants we don't really use ants but they won't guarantee for ants anyway so i don't know not worth anything but yeah it's getting pretty warm i'm gonna jump in the shower get just for the day then we're gonna try and sort it for lunch i don't know oh yes yeah, so there's a cockroach up here dying on the floor as well I've already killed one in the pantry today. That's three today. <laughs> the problem is they die. If you don't see them, then the ants are all over them. And they're getting their food source from the dead cockroaches. But, um, yeah. <laughs> all right, shower time. He's always a funny boy. You're too big for your bed. Your head doesn't fit on your bed. <laughs> you are a strange one, Mr. Bailey. You are a strange one. Finally breakfast time. So good, so I've got a rock melon green smoothie. Yeah. Cantaloupe for you guys in America. Just went out, collected some some eggs from the chickens. Christy's well she's been out for a little while. I'm playing I'm playing your game. Sims three. Yeah, she's making herself some French toast. I'm building the house for my friends in <laughs> school. So I'm gonna build the entire stage four and the teachers and I was making the house for my friends. So I just made Kevin some raisin toast for his breakfast because he still hasn't had breakfast. And I'm just now going to do, done up, blitzed up my almonds and stuff to make some almond milk. See, see this looks funny. I'm going to squeeze it all out. I like doing it. I find it quite therapeutic. This looks funny. It's quite relaxing. Unless my hands are really sore and then it's hard to do. But today it's good. <laughs> Just made a batch of hummus. Seriously, the best hummus I've made. So this is a classic hummus in the Oshigo's cookbook. If I can find it online, I will link to it otherwise. 
and anyway I would highly recommend you pick up this book because I have a lot of um, <laughs> things these are all things that we make on a regular basis so good book all right I put that away I might get some crackers and clean out that bowl first because it's so good okay last job before we head out I'm a bit feeling tired my feet are a bit sore but it's okay because I'm going to sit down for a few hours uh, cut this watermelon up and deseed it all it takes a while well done it's not only that I think I'll transfer it into a smaller container although it's stuck in the fridge quite well that's so I'll probably just leave it two bowls Chris has already taken hers and then I have the mess <laughs> and then that's what I didn't get to use and I've got my stack of skins there so I'll get that cleaned up and then I'm going to quickly get changed I'm going to take that out to the chickens I'll enjoy that um, get changed and get ready to go out I'm not sure if I food you in the plan for going out for lunch with Athena Chris didn't want to come big surprise there so we're going to go to Olak the Vietnamese place in town then we can book her birthday dinner as well and then I'm going to drop her at a party she's going to the beach for our party and then Kevin and I are going to head to Costco it's always a good feeling when I get those crossed off. A couple of hours to recover from my exertions this morning. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have done so much if I gave me home all day, just I wanted to sort of get it done. But anyway, that's good. I'm back at all for dinner, lunch. My family's very naughty and have already dived into the satay sticks. Kevin, gosh. Kevin, you want a bit of carrot? Well, that's my lunch. Mine is a carrot. It's going to stole it. <laughs> Huge. Looks good though. Yeah. I didn't realize what like, other noodles underneath and everything. You're going to think it's too spicy? Is it spicy? Okay. We'll see. Very fine, don't touch That's the That's You got the soy fish, didn't you? Yeah. Steam it away. Kevin got satay beef, or soy beef. Well, as you see, we're back in the car again. We had a very nice lunch. And we've got Athena's party book, so that's good. And then Athena mucked up the time for the party she's going to now. And it's at 3 o'clock, not 2 o'clock. So I was like, oh, what are we going to do? Because it's now 2 o'clock. We want to hang around for an hour before her party. But we ended up, she ended up finding a friend after a few phone calls. <laughs> so she's staying at a friend's place. And then the party people, <laughs> the party people, <laughs> the family's party, the girls' party, they're going to pick her up from the other friend take it to the party which at the beach so Kevin and I are just heading up to Costco now now they were to pick up that I don't know if I mentioned it it's a vegan cheese called bio cheese and Kevin tried to buy it for me the other day and he couldn't find it at Dapto but um so I went into the Coles in town and they had it so I picked up some very expensive stuff but it'll just be for me so <laughs> that's okay it'll be nice to have a bit of cheese on things we've arrived at Costco but getting some petrol first up we've got our bags you know the routine do you that's good the car park's pretty busy so I hope it's not too busy inside <laughs> never been on a Saturday before I like these I just don't really need a lunch bag how good they can take your snacks and have a handbag Oh, good idea. Tempted to get one. A bit sad the last time we were here was all full of Christmas stuff. Not anymore. Kieran's making me go up all the guy aisles. I don't usually go up these aisles. A bit sexist, son. I call them the guy aisles, but I wouldn't come up them normally. I'm not going to buy them. I'm not a fan of Hershey's chocolate, but look how pretty they are. We don't get that kind of stuff much in Australia normally. We get those sort of eggs and that's about it. Some of them they were good value for the Rocky Road ones, but oh they've got the chocolatier one. They've got a good brand. Well they're often fair trade. I'm not sure why I haven't someone got me one of them for what he found, some sort of what did you find? Why did you buy this? Ginger cider. Swedish. Beautifully Swedish. Pardon? 
Is it a Swedish? I don't think we need to go in there. Oh, look what's back in spring colors. I don't need any more. <laughs> we don't, so don't need any. What a shame. <laughs> I might buy a few, then I might like them for presents for her friends. They last for three years. I don't need any. No, I'm not getting them. It's very hard, I tell you. <laughs> but I'm leaving them in the shop. In case you're interested, they're $14. I'm gonna get some edamame. We just had a try, and since Christy likes them, and they're vegan, he'll get them. We finished our shop, and yes, another full load. Well, I don't know these, because those bags are pretty empty, so they're not quite as bad as sometimes. I just pulled over. You see behind me is a fruit truck and um, so I've got some cherries. So I had some beautiful cherries and I bought this for Kevin. I think it's going to be for myself because he's decided to pull over. This lady's got chocolate strawberries. So. These are the chocolate strawberries you've got. The Look how fancy they are. Can you reach the fridge we No, I can't reach it from here, darling. They look pretty fancy. I may have to have one. I'm put the strawberries in as well, I'll just keep the strawberries. How rude, I buy him some plain strawberries and he doesn't even want them. The dogs have just had their dinner. We're now organising all their worm and flea stuff. But Rose is going to be happy because the one that goes off her back that she absolutely she hates, she's run away though because she's seen them. But it's now a chewy that she has. That's what Kevin's getting now. The next scar, it's now a chewy for the flea and tick. So she will be happy. <laughs> Rosie. Okay. Come <laughs> with my treats. Good girl, Rosie. <laughs> he sits down now for his treats, Kevin. John's having leftover soup from lunch, and Kevin has got one of those ones he sampled at Costco. Or was it? What was it? One ton soup, prawn one ton soup. Yes, that was not. Ooh, I'm surprised she's not freaking out. She's been spending our nights upstairs hiding in the uh, wardrobe. Before we can hear the thunder normally, so. He's more worried about the back stuff. <laughs> That's it, darling, tonight. There's no flea stuff going on your back. I think I need to go and close this door. Great. I love it when they have parties because they have made voice music. I'm like, our bedroom's right upstairs. Everyone's going to be really impressed. Yeah, I shut the door. It doesn't make a lot of difference, does it? I just wish they played better music. Yeah, that is. It'll be louder up in that bedroom. Okay, another day is over. Turned out to be a very nice Valentine's Day. Here's a guest appearance by Christy. <laughs> <laughs> he smells nice. because She's got body washing her hair. <laughs> That's that Lush, do you know what it's called? The Lush Candy Floss Fairy thing, whatever that's called. Yeah, Snow Fairy. Yeah. She doesn't like the smell of her shampoo, so she, after she conditioned and shampooed it, shampooed and conditioned it, she doesn't like the conditioner. But she then puts a Snow Fairy in her hair. <laughs> so my that hair smells like cotton candy. <laughs> it does smell good. Good she goes, oh, you smell good. And I was surprised, I thought, body wash, you don't usually smell that much, but that's because she's got it in her hair. Christy's an original. <laughs> I don't know if it's bad for my hair, because that would be bad for my hair. No, it should be alright. I guess uh, when you wash your face, it'd probably go into your hair anyway. Some, so. some body washes they say you can use for hair. No one might even say for hair as well. I've bought some before that say body wash and hair. and so. 
they're all kind of the same thing, cleansing. It'll, just strip, it'll probably have the conditioner work so well. Because you're kind of stripping the conditioner out of your hair, I think. But anyway. I don't really wash it out quite well anyway. Yep. Okay. All right. I head off to bed. Hope the music's not too bad behind. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'm pretty tired. I think I'll fall asleep quite quickly. So, good night. Bye. I'm just going to flap in your arms for I can't see you flap on your arms. I am flying. <laughs> I feel like I need to add Jack to the end of it. Bye again.